I strongly believe Albert's research must stop. <sighs> Light. We can't build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you will. I cannot agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn, you've ignorantly blocked my research. Mr. Wiley, control yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so, the department chooses Thomas Light's research into robots with independent thought. Thank you, everyone. Why? Why are you fools so blind? One day, Light. One day the world will know I was right all along. Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes, now I'll show you light. Kia ora Cyphers, welcome to Mega Man 11, I'm your host Emerald, let's get into this game, uh, finally finished Mega Man Powered Up as you guys might have seen, depends if you're new here or not, um, this playthrough is meant for veterans and newcomers alike, and if this is not what you're looking for then I thank you for tuning in and Hope you find what you're looking for somewhere else. But let's get into the game. Uh, <laughs> I've actually played part of some of this game before. I haven't never beat it though. But yeah, I think we're going to go just normal mode this playthrough. Not going to go hard. Because Mega Man games are hard. Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Block Man. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid. Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out! <laughs> Good luck out there. Ro, how many checkups are left? Let's see. We just finished with Block Man. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast Man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to him. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. Oh, man, but still. Mr. Torchman, please proceed to the... Oh, earthquake! What? What on earth? Bro, Otto, hurry to me! Get to see you again, Light. Wiley! Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man! Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Dr. Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together! Or has your memory failed you? Our university days? A device? It can't be! Oh, but it can! Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever! I have perfected my design! And now we'll see who was right all along! Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? 
Perfect timing. The lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Wow! Who are you calling test subjects? Quickly! You must all run and hide! Too late! Speed here! My robots! Over here, Light! That speed! What have you done? Dang it! Nobody blocks Black Man! Let those robots go, Dr. Wily! <laughs> I have a better idea! At last the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily! <laughs> Doctor, I'll go after Wily! Wait, Mega Man! Wily's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man, I can tell you won't be stopped very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. Double gear system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine! Go get him, Mega Buddy! And remember, your old pal Otto is here to help out. Mega Man, that dirty Wily won't know what hit him. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Otto. I'll be back soon. Well, that was a very long uh, exposition scene. We don't need to view an explanation of double gear system and how it works. But you will, for newcomers, view specials. I didn't pay attention to this guy. I think, I think this is the same thing. I've got a fight! Double gear! Now remember! Speed gear! Okay, this is speed gear. Speed gear, as you can tell, slows down the enemies. It slows down time around you, basically. So that's what the speed gear does. What the power gear does is it gives you a stronger shot. And what the double gear does is it combines both of them. So that's that taken care of. Let's get into the actual game, shall we? We have Dr. Welcome Light's lab. Back, Mega Man. If you have any bolts, let me build items to help you. We have save files. This is my save file I've been playing on. And we have the Sage Leg. Now, I don't remember who the first person I went for was. But I think in this run, I'm going to go with Tundra Man. Ready. Remember when this game was first released, anyone? And everyone was like, oh yeah, this been so long. It's the last Mega Man game. I think about the last Mega Man game only came out like eight years before this. It wasn't 
I wasn't a hiatus that say so freezing. It's no, I think it was called the big hiatus. Never mind, don't listen to me guys, I don't know what I'm saying. Now, if you've played Mega Man before, a lot of the time you won't really use the double gear system. I, that, that's been happening with me a lot on my other playthrough. Um, I haven't been using the double gear a whole lot. So, forgive me if I don't utilize it to its full ability, but I am a very old school Mega Man player. Despite the fact that I was not alive at all by the time of, in the first in the first eight Mega Man games came out, as you can see, my skills are very rusty. Yep, jump down here. I'm out. Oh, oh you. How do I turn this off? Oh, I can't turn it off because it's um, double gear. I don't use double gear a lot. I'm just gonna wait here until it's recharged. Keep going. Mega Man uses a lot more rush energy than he uses rush now. And I did not see that guy up here. This guy. He's annoying. Oof. I'm not the best Mega Man player in the world, so prepare for me to die a lot. Um, I just love the series as a whole. I have for like six years at this point, probably. Yeah, like I said, I'm not the best Mega Man player in the world, but I think I, I think I know what it takes to be a Mega Man player. Soundtrack is just as good as any other um, Mega Man game, in my opinion. But apparently, in some areas, according to others, it's lacking. I don't see where, but you know. Uh, some players, like Jim and Lego, have been playing Mega Man for like decades, and they've mastered all the skills in Mega Man to the point where they can beat literally every game in the series, or at least in the classic series, I don't know about the X and Zero series and stuff, we probably can. I 
I don't know if that was worth it or not. Oh! Oh! Oh, that would be nice with a short hop. Uh, most people, I'm pretty sure, at least most playthroughs I've seen, go with, um, mm, block maker. Alright, I'm not entirely sure. Oh my gosh, again. I'm not playing this game very well. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most um most levels in this game, if not all of them, do have main bosses in them though. Lucky for me, I've played this level a lot. Until I do that. <laughs> Just spend forever trying to beat this level. Uh, the first time. Welcome back, Mega Man. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure? Ta da! Already! Good luck! Are you sure? Are you sure? Ta da! Are you sure? Ta da! Already! Are you Get sure? One of these. Ta da! Already! Good luck out there, Mega! Are you sure? And we'll be good. Let's keep going. Ready. I don't know if I've already said this. I think I have, but I'm pretty sure that Tundra Man was made by Dr. Crosshair. If my name is incorrect. Take a moment and just sit in awe at the like the beautiful graphics this game has. I'm so glad I didn't go to um 8-bit. Not that 8-bit doesn't look cool. 8-bit looks cool as, but like 16-bit looks cool though, but <laughs> 16 bit looks better than almost anything, but I'm just so glad they went with new styles. Rip Triceratops. Also, Dr. Light said that it won't stand a chance without the double gear. The double gear enhanced Mega Man's abilities without um, activating its special ability. Its special ability because I don't feel very um, powered up on that and I controlling this game about using the double gear. Wow! Let's go boys. Too bad you, I don't think you can dance with Rush in this game. Unfortunate. I like the rough dance place. Whee! Slipping and sliding all over the place. I've tried beating Torchman stage. I think Torchman was actually the guy I went for first. As you saw on the stage, like, I didn't end up beating him. Let's 
Go. It's funny because I never feel like this stupid guy's pattern on my arm when I beat the stage. Um. There we go. That's all taken care of. And we didn't even lose a life in that run. Really. I remember before we failed miserably. Oh. That's the first time I haven't been hit with one of those things in the pool. Why did this go here? Didn't need to be there. Maybe I spoke too soon earlier, I don't know. Did I actually slide straight into that? Can someone confirm that for me? Did I actually slide straight into that? Not sure I did lose a life before that boss. If I could jump here. This is probably the game I use Rush Coil the most in, just because of Sigmund like these. There's this one on Block Man stage. Go back a very long, t a very, very long way now.
They both drop screws. Cave made up here. What? What a screw. Are you kidding? Oh. Can I get up there? No. And with that, folks, we made it. We made it to the first boss. Trying to take my spotlight? Tundra Man. You're skating on thin ice. Ah! Now, Tundra Man is honestly for the character, for the boss who gives you a screen of this game. He's really ah. easy. I hope you didn't come here to watch a pro play this game, though, so I'm no pro at making it. But I am no noob either. out of here alive, just trust me. I just can't jump with the my new tank, so I don't think I need to. That's why I haven't been using it. Okay. Yeah. 
Here we go. I'm sorry, Dr. Cossack. <laughs> I, I just kind of saw the head here. And with that, folks, we have achieved our first weapon. Thunderstorm. That's it just with the freaking thing on. This is it normally, and I like using this as literally just a straight combo with and just jump at your opponent. Yes! I need a hitbox at that part though. But oh damn it. I'll get a ton of shirts for me. And with that, folks, you've defeated Tundra Man. <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed the first part of Mega Man 11, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, kakite, ciphers. See ya.